Hi guys, I'm Angie and today I'm going to leave my camera off and show you how I made this face mask. The Halloween costume contest at work is finally coming back this year now that most of us are back to the office. I decided it would be fun to make a mask, imitating the icons from Microsoft Teams that show people's initials if they didn't add a photo of themselves or turn on their cameras during meetings. The main circle was made out of foam board with a light color sheet of cardstock attached to it. Since the size of my cutting mat was 12 inches by 12 inches, I decided to use an 11 and a half inch diameter circle for the mask. I tentatively added the letters to the canvas. I took measurements of my face to figure out the eye level and added a horizontal guide. I also added vertical guides based on the spacing between my eyes. The goal was to have the eye holes completely within the letters for them to be less noticeable. When chatting with another Microsoft Teams user, there are different icons that show our status. Green means we are available, yellow indicates we are away, red appears when we are in a meeting, presenting, or busy. So I decided to add those to my mask as well since I plan to use this as part of my cubicle decorations once the contest is over. I tried to size them to match the original proportions and then drew simple lines for each of the icons. Then it was time to cricket all the pieces and assemble them together. For the statuses, I later added Velcro to the mask and the individual pieces so I could easily change my status. During a Teams meeting, the current speaker with camera off will get a glowing light surrounding their icon. So I decided to challenge myself with making another mask using LED lights, a 12 volt battery, and a control switch while I speak. 
Here I am just testing it out before actually soldering the wires. The LED lights needed to go into some polyethylene tubing to help diffuse the light, and the tubing was thick enough that I needed to double up my foam board. Once the light strip made its way through the tubing, I attach it to the mask using hot glue. I seal up the gap on the back for extra reinforcement. It's a bit clumpy but it's on the back so I'm good with that. I decided to have the opening on the side of the head so the wires could easily go behind my ear and then down the back of my neck. Next, I soldered a wire and added heat shrink tubes to get the wire down my back and into the pocket where I could control the switch. I attached the switch on the outside of an old Altoids tin and hit the rest of the wires and battery on the inside. Alright, the lights work! If I were to redo this project, I would change the direction of the light strip so it can come up and easily rest on my ear. Right now, I have to loop it around the elastic band a few times to hold it up. I would also consider using a different switch that fit inside the tin a little better and make it easy to operate in my pocket. And then I would definitely check for more light options. I recently learned about neon LED lights that are much more well diffused and could possibly show the same purple as Teams.